Dear students and dear viewers, welcome to our lecture series of Calculus 2 and here Calculus 2 I mean Integral Calculus. This is our 10th lecture and our today's topic is volume by slicing and we want to calculate volume of a 3D solid materials by the help of slicing or by taking a cross section and here there are two methods method of disk and method of washers. In this lecture, <coughs> I want to discuss how can we take a slice or cross section of a solid materials and calculate its volume. And probably I will also discuss method of disk. And now the first question is why we need to take help from integration in order to calculate volume of a uh, 3D solid materials. Uh, as we know, uh, volume is a 3D geometric quantity that, uh, that all 3D objects have. And we can calculate volume of a 3D solid materials by using a null geometric formula only when the solid is of regular shape. For example, <coughs> volume of a, uh, of, a, of a rectangular prism is this volume equal its length time width time height and volume of a triangular prism is this this is the base of the triangular prism and volume equal area of its base and the area of its base is half into b h b is the uh, half into uh, base time height so this is the height of the prism and the third one is this one volume of a cylinder and say we know cylinder the cylinder base of a cylinder is is circular so the area of its base is pi r square and if you multiply pi r square by h you will get its volume and the fourth one <coughs> uh, volume of a sphere is is this formula 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of this sphere and this one is a right pyramid and having height h and base uh, as a square having sides a so the volume of a right pyramid is one third a square h and this is a cone and we know the volume of a cone is equal 1 by 3 pi r square h where uh, r is the radius of its base and h is the height of the cone and one can easily understand that the volume of a cone is one third of the volume of a cylinder and uh, this is, these are the regular geometric um, solid materials and however if the shape of the solid materials are irregular then how can we calculate volume of these solids that what we want to know in this lecture so let me start from the area formula what we did in our previous lecture we know the area of of this uh, region uh, from x equal to a to x equal to b this is our x axis this is y axis and this is our function so area of this region we can calculate by the help of definite integration which is fx dx and i said uh, if we take a cross section here very small cross section this is the general cross section uh, having 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 width dx then the differential area of this cross section will be uh, length length is fx and this is fx is the generic position of x so length times width so the area is equal integration of its differential area 
which is from A to B so A to B fx dx now one can easily understand that where this fx comes from and this fx is nothing but the length of the cross section so if you if you just integrate the length of its of a small cross section from from within its interval a to b then you will get the area of of this region however if your curve is like this like this which is x equal f y and you want to calculate area from y equal to c to y equal to d and in that case you need to take a cross section here like this then the length of this cross section is x so the area of this region will be uh, y equal to c to y equal to d the length of its cross section is x which is f y dy so note that if your cross section is perpendicular to the x axis then you this one will be your area formula it means you need to integrate with respect to x and your cross section is perpendicular to the y axis then this one will be your formula you need to integrate with respect to dy because the length the width of this cross section is dy so you need to integrate with respect to y so the same basic principle we can use in order to calculate volume of a 3d solid material uh, let us consider a cilia 3d cone like this and you can take cross section of this cone either uh, either perpendicular to the horizontal axis or perpendicular to the vertical axis so first let us take a cross section like this so first let us take this cross section and it will look like it will look like this so this cross section is perpendicular to the y axis if our axis notation is like this and we can also take a cross section like this perpendicular to the x axis so let us try take this cross section this one which will look like which will look like this so if your cross section is perpendicular to the y axis then the width of this cross section is dy and the width of this cross section is dx so you can easily imagine that if your cross section is perpendicular to the y axis then your formula will be like this area of your cross section dy and your volume volume formula uh, for this one will be like this if your cross section is perpendicular to the x axis then your volume formula will be integration from x equal to a to x equal to b ax dx uh, this one is y equal to a to y equal to b so let me say it again if your cross section is perpendicular to the y axis then you need to integrate the area of its cross section this is the area of this cross section with respect to y 
and if your cross section is perpendicular to the x axis then you need to integrate its area with respect to x from one end of the solid to the other. So here we have two volume formula. The first one is integrate area of the cross section with respect to y from one end to another when the cross section when the cross section is perpendicular to the x axis and when the cross section is perpendicular to the y axis then your volume formula will be second one y equal to c2 y equal to d a y d y when the cross section is perpendicular to the y axis so let us try to <coughs> calculate volume of a of a right pyramid by using uh, this example and try to understand it it says derive a formula for the volume of a right pyramid whose height is h and whose base is a square with sides of length a length a and we know this formula volume equal one third a square h now let us try to check whether uh, we can we can calculate this volume by the help of integration so this is a 3d right pyramid and o is the center of the base and height of this pyramid is h the base uh, is it says it, it, it's, it's, it's a square so let us take a cross section here at y so this is a cross section at y and uh, so let me draw a 2d pixel like this this is our a o b and cross section is here y equal to y so this is the cross section L let us consider h let s be the length of the cross section so this length will be half s and this length will be half a and let's say this is our e and f so by using similar triangle formula we can write a o divided by a e is equal um, o b divided by e f this implies a o is equal to height of the cylinder which is h h divided by a e is equal h minus y so h minus y and o b is equal to half a e f equal half s we want to calculate area of this cross section so what is area since the length is s therefore area will be s square since the base is a square so the cross section will be also a square so here s equal a by h h minus y whole square therefore area of the cross section and this one will be function of y which is s square is equal a square by h square h minus y whole square therefore the volume of this pyramid will be 
y equal to 0 to y equal 8 since here y equal to 0 and at this point y equal to h so if you integrate the area of this cross section from one end to the other then you will get the volume so a y d y which is equal 0 to h and a y is equal a square by h square h minus y whole square dy because a square by h square is constant so we need to only integrate this one integration of this one h minus y whole square uh, whole s a whole to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 into derivative of h minus y minus 1 0 to h which is equal a square by h square uh, 3 negative 3 1 by negative 3 let me take it out of uh, this vertical line so h minus y whole cube 0 to h which is equal minus 1 third a square by h square if you if you replace h for y you will get 0 so 0 minus and if you replace 0 here then you will get h cube so this equal minus and minus will be plus one third a square h so the required volume of this right pyramid is equal 1 by 3 a square h so this result support the well known result so that's all for today and uh, hope to see you in the next lecture thank you very much mm -hmm.